All right, round. No, well, this is round two. You guys didn't get round one. Round one, I was actually recording this, but I wasn't recording, so I was just talking to myself. So what we're doing today, guys, is we are going to be writing in slope-intercept form. Yesterday, we wrote in slope-intercept form when given slope in a y-intercept, when given a graph, or when given slope in a point. Today, we're going to be working on writing in slope-intercept form when given a table and when given two points. So we got a little bit more mapping we got to do. Alrighty, so let's take a look here at these three tables. So the best thing to do, and what's great about these videos, you can pause them so that you can draw these tables in your notes, but I'm gonna keep going. So this video is not like a 57 minute video. Um, so I recommend you to pause, write down these three so that you can get them written down. Um, I'll put my screen shade back up, cover this up. All right, so let's take a look here. Remember, when we're finding, Okay. We want an equation of slope-intercept form. If you remember, it's y equals mx plus b, where m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. Okay. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to choose different colors. So here we need to find our m. Remember, our m is our slope. Slope is rate of change. So when given a table, all the tables I give you are going to be linear. So you don't need to figure out are they linear. You just need to find the slope. And when given all these numbers, Find ones that are easy, like this one, two to five, this is easy. To get from two to five, I add three. You may like brain may go uh, negative seven, negative four, but I don't know. Find one that's easy. Two to five is plus three. One to two is plus one. So my M equals three over one, which is the same thing as three. My B, if you remember my B or my Y intercept, my y-intercept is when x is 0. So I find x is 0 is right here. So my b is negative 1. I have my m. I have my b. So my equation of this line is y equals 3x minus 1. And we're done. Right, pretty cool. So when we do this again, we are finding our m. We are finding our b. And then we're graphing. So let's look here. Again, find ones that are easy. Negative 13, negative 5, 1, 2, 7, I don't know. Ooh, 11 to 19. I add 8. 10 to 20. Ooh, add 10. So my M here is change in Y, which is 8, over my change in X, which is 10. Well, that can simplify to 4 over 5. So I have my M. To find my B, I find where X is 0. Right there, X is 0. So my B is three. So my equation of this line is y equals four fifths x, because that's my m, plus b, which is three. Here's that equation, that one. All right, let's get another color here. I did blue, I did red, let's go green. So here, I have my x, y table. I need to find my slope and my rate of change. This one I drop 10, and this one I add five. So my M equals negative 10 over 5, which equals negative 2. Now my B, remember, is X is 0. I don't have an X is 0. Oh, I guess I can't do it. No, you can if you remember from yesterday. You need to pick a point and you need to plug it in. So I'm going to escape out. I'm going to grab a different color. So we're going to pick a point. Let's go Y is 75 equals my m. I already know my m is negative 2. My x is 3. And we need to find b. Well, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Oh, nice one-step equation. Add 6. Add 6. 81 equals b. So I have a b. I have an m. Now I need to write my equation. Well, let me go get my green pen. Y equals negative 2X plus 81. So that's my equation here. All right. So again, when your M is your rate of change, just find your rate of change, Y over X. Your B is when X is zero. But if you don't have an X of zero, like here, you need to plug in a point and solve for B and then plug it in, just like we did yesterday. All right. So remember, B is when X is zero. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to try both of these on your own. Now you do on your own, it's on your video, all right? What you do is you're gonna pause the video 
and you'll pause it, you'll try them on your own, and then you'll hit play again, and I'll have the answers there. All right, so pause your video, and I want you to try these two on your own. All right, I might want to move these so you actually can see, but you don't really need all of them. Um, actually, yeah, you do. Let me move this. Let's move this up here. Right there. All right, so we're going to pause our video, and then you're going to calculate. So pause now. All right. So on the left, you should have gotten y equals negative 1x minus 9, or you could have done y equals negative x minus 9. And on the right, you should have gotten y equals 2x plus 4. That's a 4 that kind of ran into my circle here. All right. So those are the two that you should have gotten on your own. Remember, b is when x is 0. So find your x is 0, and that's your b. All right. And if you don't have that, you have to plug in. So this is writing an equation in slope-intercept form when given a table. You still got to find your M. You got to still find your B. You plug them in. Next, I want to write the equation in slope-intercept form when given points. Oh, boy, Mr. Harris. Lots of work we got to do here. Yes, we do. You'll be fine. You won't, you won't explode. All right. So we've been given these sets of points. So we have 3, 1, and 2, 4. And we have negative two, negative four, negative two, and negative five, negative six, and negative five, negative nine, five, and zero, two. Oh my God, Mr. Harris, that's a lot. Let's focus on one at a time. Let's write the equation of a line that goes through the points three, one, and two, four. All right, so we're going to pick a marker, crayon, whatever color, and we need to find our slope first. Well, how do we find slope? Well, we have x1, we have y1, we have x2, we have y2. So let's do 4 minus 1 over 2 minus 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So we have a slope of negative 3. So there's our M. Well, remember, our B, or our Y-intercept, is when X is 0. Is one of those X is 0? No. Ah, Mr. Harris, we got to do all the work. Yes, we do. So let's choose this one. Go 1 equals negative 3 times 3 plus B. Do some mathing. 1 equals negative 9 plus B. Add 9. Add 9. B equals 10. So we have our B. We have our M. Now we need to write our equation. I didn't give you guys a lot of room here, apparently. All right. So let's do a different color just so that we can clearly see it. So let's go with red. So the equation of this line would be Y equals M, which is negative 3, X plus B, which is 10. All right. Let's do this one. Well, let's do the same thing. We got a point x1, y1, x2, y2. Do some mathing. Negative 6 plus 2 all over negative 5 plus 4. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And we get 4. So there's our M. Well, remember, B is when X is zero. I don't have an X is zero, so I got to plug one in. All right, so let's pick one. Let's go negative two equals four times negative four plus B. Negative 16 plus B equals negative two. Add 16, add 16. B equals 14. We have a B, we have an M. Let's go get another color. Go with purple. And the equation of this line is y equals m, which is 4x plus 14. There we go. And the last one. All right. Last one here. We want to write the equation of line in slope intercept form through negative 9, 5, and 0, 2. So again, let's label x1, y1, x2, y2, 2 minus 5, 0 plus 9, 2 minus 5 is negative 3, 0 plus 9 is 9, negative 3 over 9 is negative 1 third. So there's my m. Now we need my b. And if you remember, b is when x is 0. Well, if you look here, look at, we have an x is 0. So that means this 2 is our B. We don't even have to do any math. Woohoo! I like that one, Mr. Harris. But X is zero. We don't need to do any math to find our B. So our equation is Y equals negative one-third X plus two. Boom. We're done. So the first two, we had to do the math because we didn't have an X is zero. 
Here we have an x of zero. Okay. So that's why we did have to do math. So again, when you're writing in slope intercept form, you need two things. You need slope and you need your y intercept. Right? Slope. When given points, you use your formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then to find your b, if you don't have an x of zero, you must plug in one of the points and do the calculations. All right. I'm going to slide this up here. I'm going to move my screen shade. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to try these two on your own. All right. I want you to find the slope of an equation that goes through these two points and then goes through these two points. And from there, so remember, you need to find your, your M, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Then you need to find your B, plug it in, unless one of your X's is zero. So pause your video now. And when you pause it, you can try it. Oh, what happened? Oh, you guys don't need to look at me. Oh, well. Uh, so pause your recording or pause your video. All right, guys. So if you take a look here. For this first one, you got y equals negative 4x plus 8. And for this one, you got y equals negative x plus 7. So these are finding or writing your equation in slope-intercept form, which is, again, you need to find your slope. With the table, you find your rate of change. With your uh, points, you got to do the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And boom, go from there. All right? Yes, there are a lot of steps, a lot of mathing you got to do, but you can do it. So we don't need that. Boom. You guys did a good job. Hopefully you understood stuff. Hopefully you wrote down your good notes. And now you got to do the practice. Adios.